Standard & Poor's Rating Services takes a look at the global paper manufacturing and forest products industry in this episode of Credit Matters TV. I'm Olaf Adaunsi with the Corporate Ratings Practice, and joining me to discuss the industry's future is Tobias Crabtree, a director in our commodities group. Welcome, Tobias. Thank you, Olaf. So you're projecting some significant changes in the, in the industry over the next few years. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what, what we're looking forward to? Yeah, I think one of the biggest changes will be the rise of Asia, in particular China and India, in terms of contributing to production and consumption capacity globally. If you look at our forecast, we think Asia region, in particular China, in total will account for about half of paper production and consumption by 2018. Another uh, key theme is the decline in printing and writing paper and newsprint in mature markets like North America and Europe. We think those declines will be severe, uh, potentially about 20 to 25 percent of total printing and writing and newsprint uh, consumption will come out of the market. So what are some of the key drivers um, that will, will lead these changes? Yeah, I think the key driver is an improved outlook for the global economy from 2013 to 2018 in contrast to the 2007 to 2012 period. During that time, we saw uh, global paper demand actually decline slightly um, on an annual basis, largely due to uh, the damaging impact of recessions in Europe and North America. The China growth uh, rates of about 7%, we think, will be uh, a key driver to improved consumption of paper packaging in that region. And that's one of the key drivers to our expectations for growth across the sector. If you can tell us a little bit about some of the demand challenges that you think you'll, we'll see in North America? Yeah, the, the demand challenges are largely in the printing and writing paper space where it, you're seeing consumers' eyeballs shift towards electronic sources rather than print sources. I think that uh, we think will contribute to about 4 to 6 percent declines annually in printing and writing consumption over the next five years. Okay. And so you've told us a lot about some of the um, uh, growth prospects of the industry. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the downside risks? I think the risks are primarily related to our expectations for global economic growth. Uh, for instance, a slowdown in China uh, or a slowdown in the Asia-Pacific region we think would reduce our growth forecast. We estimate right now that if Chinese growth in the paper uh, consumption is lower by about 1 percent annually, that would have about a 10 percent impact to our total global forecast mm -hmm. for demand. Thank you for that overview of the industry. And the full commentary on this sector is available through our Global Credit Portal at www.globalcreditportal.com. Thank you for joining us for this segment, and we'll see you next time.